going to show you how to go to our website, freeemulator.com, to download the Visual Boy Advanced Emulator for Windows. It actually can emulate regular Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color games. And it's the best emulator out there for them. So click on it real quick. You can click the, the picture here to download it, the text link, or the download now button. Go ahead and click the text link. Save the file. I already have a folder set in place. Save it. As soon as it's done, download. Close out of Firefox. Open up our free emulator folder here. And we'll right click and extract here. I'm using WinRAR. It only has two files here. We'll go ahead and load the exe file. Close out of the folder. Now the window is real tiny. So the first thing we're going to do is make it bigger. Options, video, four times. And there we go. There's easier to manage and deal with on a 1080p monitor. So file, you have open for your ROMs. Open your Game Boy ROMs as for older systems, such as regular playing Game Boy, Super Game Boy, Game Boy Color games, whatever you want to play. So finally you have load and save slots. You can choose your slot right here for loading and saving. You can pause or reset your emulator. Uh, if you have your recents, you can open that import. You can import different things and export things. You can screen capture. You get your ROM information. You can hit escape to hide the menu. It's handy when you're on full screen. Close the ROM or exit the emulator. So options, video, render method. You can set it to different things. I usually set this to direct 3D myself. I like that better. Go back to render method. You have different draw settings, D3D settings, GL settings. Um, here, other full screens usually what I go to when I go to full screen, and you can hit escape. It'll hide the menu from there. And then let's see under emulator, lots of different options here. You can also choose whether to save your screenshots as PNG or BMP format. Sound, um, off mute on. You can set different pass filters, reverse your stereo, reverse what size you come out. You have four channels you can choose. I actually like to set it to 44 kilohertz there. Go back to sound. Actually, we'll go to let's go to Game Boy. You can set a border printer, border automatic. You can set what type of interface it has, the coloring, everything. Filters I actually do Super Eagle here. It helps to make the graphics a little more smoother and it looks better on a huge monitor or TV screen in this case. Um, Joypad. You can configure what buttons to use. Your up, down, left, right, A, B, all that good stuff. Let's see what else we have. Language, you can go to System English Other. You can hit uh, type in a three characters for whatever language you want to use if it's supported. Cheats, if you want to apply cheats, here's where you do that. Tools, we'll just go down to Customize real quick. Here, you can set shortcut keys for all the different options for Visual Boy Advance. So you can see some of them are already set. A lot of them are not, so if you have a favorite, um, option in this emulator. You can go and click it, set a new shortcut key, and then you have easy access to it. Tons of different options. Let's see, under, let's see help. We'll go to about real quick. You'll see that we're in a version 1.8.0 beta 3, and that's about it. You're good to load a ROM from there. One thing real quick about freeemulator.com. We only host emulators. We do not host any ROMs. I suggest doing a Google search for them if you're looking for them. Mm -hmm.